YouTube. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazz Times. Jazz Times. With your host, Haley. So glad to see you all back once again. Um, I did promise a sugar skull yesterday evening after the Avatar phase. But I was just so darn tired. I just didn't have it in me to do another one. So today, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my black, red, and white sugar skull for y'all. And um, I'm also today, I'm going to do, I know I usually save them for Wednesdays, but I'm going to try and do the rising water experiment with the fire. Fire! I love fire. I love playing with fire. And I like to say fire. Just like that. Um, and also, I'm going to do a couple more uh, nail tutorials. I'm going to try and... Uh, my goal today is at least five videos. Not completely uploaded, but five videos today. In my MGD shirt. Loving it. Alright, so for uh, this sugar skull, you're going to need three basic colors. Black, white, and red. And these are, again, my Silly Farm brand uh, water-activated hypoallergenic. Uh, these ones are my Silly Farm. The, my white is my Snazaroo brand. Did you love saying that? Snazaroo. 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 Jazaroo. Jazaroo. <gasps> All right. You're also going to need a cup of water. I already started washing my brush in it. And the brushes you're going to need, again, is my favorite little... Pointy brush, your wide brush, and an itty bitty little brush. Same brush as we used yesterday. And also, can't forget, your towel to wipe your brush on. Okay, so we're gonna start with our white. Our big brush and the white. Do 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 do. Gonna clean that off because my brush is still kind of dirty. So I'm gonna rinse that out really good. Hi, how's it going? I hope it's clean. Ah, it's clean. Great. Okay. So for a sugar skull, you do need a very solid white all over your face, except for your eye area. Because we're going to cover that in black. So. I'm going to go. And I'm going to. Just do a light. Outline. As you can see, and that is where I'm going to end my white. And I'm going to go around my eyes, making my little stencil. For my eyes, and then all inside of meow, I'm going to go and fill that in with a nice solid white, and I will be RB, y'all. Oh, by the way, I'm in such a good mood today, because... Gorgeous outside. All the snow is gone. I'm so happy. It's wonderful. Okay, be right back. So, I've gone in and I think I think I did like three layers. And I've gone in and I've filled everything in as solidly as I can with my white. And now, wash my brush out real good. Mm-hmm. And uh, also to mention, I didn't go too heavy over my lips and on the underside of my nose because we are going to do the black double-tipped spade over our nose and our lips are also going to be black. So now with our black, I'm going to fill in my eyes and I'm also going to do my lips, but we will do the nose part together. So I... Uh, We'll be right back. I hope you do not miss me too long. Why am I going French? I don't know. Hey. Looking kind of creepy, huh? Yeah. All right. So, I'm using, for my eyes, I used my uh, large 
brush. And for my lips, I used my small pointy one. And now for the nose. Now you kind of want to take your double spikes off of your nostrils, sort of. So when I draw it, I do a line like from my inner nostril up or down. I bring it down towards my like so. And then I join them in the middle about halfway down. And then I'll bring my two points down to the other sides of my nostril there. And then join them on the underside. And then I'm going to fill all that in with black. And now down onto just a little bit onto our upper lip. We're going to give it that spade stand part, the bottom part of the spade. So I draw a little flat line and then I bring curved lines down to it. And fill that in and you get the little double headed spade and now I'm gonna go we're gonna do our little lineies off the sides of our mouth like so so what I'm doing so to get that I am just drawing and then as soon as I get to that point I push my brush down and I get that teardroppy shape so pull and push and you get that little teardrop shape like so and then under our eyes we can do a few more of those Just to kind of jazz it up a bit. Starting to get kind of creepy. Now, some people can will do um, the uh, classic spider web on the forehead. Um, I'm going to do kind of like a take on a little bit of a flower petal. I'm just going to do a, um, like a triple leaf type deal. Uh, so clean out your little pointy brush really, really well. I'm going to go on with our red. Like so, and then I'm going to fill that in with the red. But before I do that, I'm also going to do like a little sun um, on the bottom of my chin. So I do my little half circle, and then.
just lay my brush down. So now I'm going to pause up for a sec and I'm just going to fill in my little um, red areas here and I will be right back. All right, it's starting to come together. I like it. All right, now with our smaller brush, um, we are going to go with our red again. And we're going to do our little sugar skull the famous petals around the eyes. Now I like to do circles and kind of connect them. I do one circle and then another one next to it and I go all the way around with that instead of doing that semi-circle type look. I find that this works a lot better for me, but whatever techniques you like to use, go for it. Um, I will be right back. I'm going to finish both of my eyes with my little circles here. and I will be right back. All right. So I've gone in with all my little circles and I filled in my eyes. And now with that teeny tiny little brush again, Clean that out really, really, really good. Now I'm waiting for the red around my eyes to dry. We're gonna take the pin brush here with our black, and we're going to outline the sun on our chin. And yes, you do want it to connect to the semicircle on the bottom of your chin. Like so. And now also, I'm going to add in my little teeth lines. Just like that. Okay. And now the red around my eyes is now dry. Now with that same pin brush, you're going to want to outline, I hope you guys can see that, outline all your petals, because it's supposed to look like a flower around your eye. And I also add a little dot just on the inside like that. So I'm gonna go around and I'm going to outline all of those little circles and I will be right back. All right, so I've gone and filled in all my little flowery petals. 
Ooh, I just noticed. I missed a little bit on my news, guys. Oh my god. All right. I'm going to go back to our medium sized brush. I'm going to finish off this flower. And it's going to be really, really simple and easy. Just want to outline those petals. As if you were drawing them. Now I've curved the petals up and I've also done that little push with my brush. And I'm just going to Do a couple little lines on it, just like so. And there we have a black, white, and red sugar skull. So, I hope you all had fun watching, just as much fun as I had doing. Because I love doing face paint, and I love doing nails, because it's just fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Yes, I'm weird. I think you've all realized that by now. Um, so, uh, once again, thank you very much. Uh, click, comment, subscribe, share, subscribe. You want to you subscribe. You know you do. So, yes. Uh, sugar Skull. I do have a couple different colored uh, Sugar Skulls coming up uh, in the future. Um, I have a whole entire list of faces like you guys wouldn't believe. Um Please comment. Let me know if you guys want to see anything specific. Um, if I don't have it on my list, I will definitely add to it. Um, mail's coming soon. I can't wait to open up the mail with you guys. I'm so excited for the nail stuff. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Stay jazzy.